Picture this, it's the early 80 seconds, and you're nestled on your favorite spot on the couch, bathed in the soft glow of your vintage television set. The air is filled with anticipation, and you're about to embark on a journey that defies gravity, norms, and maybe even your wildest childhood dreams. The year is 1981, and the television series that's about to grace your screen is none other than the greatest American hero. As the theme music kicks in, you can't help but tap your foot to that unforgettable tune. You're instantly transported into a world where an ordinary schoolteacher stumbles upon a suit with extraterrestrial powers, a suit that he can't quite figure out how to use. The mishaps, the hilarious attempts at crime fighting, and the awkward yet endearing heroics of Ralph Hinckley are etched into your memory like a cherished comic book. Do you remember the first time you saw Ralph clumsily soar through the skies, red cape flapping behind him, or when he inadvertently turned invisible at the most inconvenient times? Perhaps it's that infectious mix of humor and heart that made the greatest American hero a cult classic. Whether it's the chemistry between Ralph and his skeptical FBI partner Bill Maxwell, or the charming chaos that ensued with each new adventure, this show left an indelible mark on television history. But here's a twist you might not know. There are some fascinating random facts about this beloved series that will make you appreciate it even more. So, let's dive into the world of the greatest American hero and uncover the hidden gems that have been waiting to be unearthed. Hit ready to soar to new heights of knowledge about this iconic show. In the 1981 TV series The Greatest American Hero, an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit revolves around William Catt and Robert Culp, who played the lead characters, Ralph Hinckley and Bill Maxwell, respectively. At the start of the series, Catt and Culp reportedly had difficulties getting along and working together. However, this initial friction between them actually worked to their advantage, as it mirrored the dynamic between their on-screen characters. As the series progressed, Cat and Culp were able to resolve their differences, and, in a twist of fate, became good friends over the course of the show's run. This real-life evolution of their relationship added depth to the chemistry between Ralph and Bill on screen, making it even more authentic and relatable for viewers. Interestingly, the greatest American hero also had a unique journey across the Atlantic. While it premiered in the United States in 1981, it wasn't picked up for UK TV screening until 1985. When it finally made its way across the pond, ITV decided to show the series on a regional basis. Yorkshire Television had the honor of being the first to air it in the autumn of 1985, while other regions in the UK got to enjoy it in 1986. These insights into the show's production dynamics and international distribution add a layer of intrigue to the legacy of The Greatest American Hero, a series that continues to be cherished by fans even decades later. In 1981, the greatest American hero took the television world by storm as a unique superhero comedy. While there isn't substantial information available about the show's connection to Stephen J. Cannell Productions, one notable fact is that it marked the beginning of a famous logo associated with Cannell, the image of him writing and tearing a sheet from his typewriter. Moreover, in 1981, during Robert Culp's guest hosting on Saturday Night Live, there was a memorable crossover moment. In an I Spy sketch, Culp's character encountered Bill Cosby's character. Surprisingly, at the end of the sketch, a fully costumed Ralph from The Greatest American Hero also made an appearance. Interestingly, the series faced a unique hurdle in the UK. It couldn't be shown there until 1985 to 1986 because the pilot film received a cinema release around 1982 to 1983. This was due to a TV holdback rule in the UK that prevented films released in cinemas from being shown on television for a certain period. This four-year gap delayed British viewers from experiencing the adventures of Ralph and his superhero suit. While the greatest American hero might not have been as well known as some other 80 seconds shows, it certainly left its mark with these intriguing facts. The show's mix of comedy and superhero action continues to be fondly remembered by fans around the world. In the 1981 TV series The Greatest American Hero, there's an interesting fact about the actor Michael Pear. This series marked his first TV credit and was his second acting credit overall. It's noteworthy because Michael Pear later went on to have a successful career in both television and film, making his start in this iconic show. 
The greatest American hero was also not immune to being parodied. In an episode of Robot Chicken titled Yancey the Yo-Yo Boy, the series was humorously spoofed. This highlights the lasting impact and recognition that the greatest American hero had in popular culture. Additionally, within the series itself, the characters Bill and Pam faced some serious peril. Bill was kidnapped a total of eight times, and he endured being shot five times. Meanwhile, Pam found herself kidnapped six times. These statistics shed light on the frequent dangers that the characters encountered in their crime-fighting adventures. In conclusion, The Greatest American Hero is not just a classic TV series, but also a significant milestone in the career of Michael Pear. Its enduring influence is evident through its parody in Robot Chicken and the perilous situations its characters faced. This show continues to be remembered and appreciated by fans of 1980s television. In 1981, the TV series The Greatest American Hero took flight, telling the story of a schoolteacher who gains superpowers from an alien suit. However, the show faced some interesting twists and turns behind the scenes. One notable event was the attempted spin-off series called The Greatest American Heroine, produced in 1983 but not aired until 1986. This Lanaird pilot served as the final episode when the show went into syndication. It introduced a female protagonist, but the series didn't get off the ground as initially planned. ABC made another move when they officially canceled the series before airing the last four produced episodes. These episodes, known as the Lost Episodes, were bundled with the rest of the series for syndication and later DVD collections. This left fans with a mix of completed and unseen adventures of the unlikely superhero. Interestingly, there was a legal tussle regarding the show's concept. DC Comics tried to sue the producers for allegedly copying Superman. However, the show's premise was arguably closer to another DC Comics character, Green Lantern, who received a power ring from an alien to become a superhero. This legal clash added a layer of complexity to the show's history. In the end, the greatest American hero remains a memorable part of 1980s television, not just for its quirky hero but also for the behind-the-scenes drama that unfolded. The emblem's intriguing origins in The Greatest American Hero in 1981, the TV series The Greatest American Hero took the nation by storm, capturing the imagination of viewers with its unique blend of superhero antics and comedy. Amidst the show's success, two interesting facets emerge about its emblem, the symbol on the protagonist's suit. Firstly, the show's theme song, sung by Joey Scarberry, achieved significant recognition. Released as a single, it climbed to two on the Billboard charts during the summer of 1981, cementing its place in pop culture. Scarberry's catchy rendition of Believe It or Not, Im Walking on Air became synonymous with the series, leaving an indelible mark on viewers. Secondly, the emblem on the superhero suit, according to creator Stephen J. Cannell, had an unusual inspiration, his desk scissors. While this explanation may seem quirky, it's worth noting that some viewers have observed a different, rather provocative shape in the emblem. Its resemblance to a phallic symbol has sparked debate, although whether it was intentional or a mere coincidence remains a topic of discussion. Beyond these intriguing tidbits, the emblem also carries another layer of symbolism. It bears a resemblance to a Chinese character that signifies center, middle, in, among, or within. In Hong Kong, the show's title loosely translates to Flying Red Center Hero, adding an international dimension to its meaning. In Sweden, it was titled Titta Handflyger, which translates to Look. He flies. In summary, the greatest American hero left its mark not only through its iconic theme song, but also with the mysterious origins of its emblem, which may or may not be linked to an unexpected shape in diverse cultural interpretations. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the memories and musings of the greatest American hero, I urge you to take a moment to reflect. This 1981 TV series, with its iconic red suit and quirky superhero antics, has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on our collective nostalgia. Think back to those days when you first encountered Ralph Hinckley and his enigmatic alien supersuit. Perhaps you were a wide-eyed child sitting cross-legged on the living room floor, or maybe you stumbled upon it during a late-night channel surf. Regardless of the circumstances, there was something magnetic about the show that drew you in, beckoning you to believe that even the most ordinary among us could don the cape of heroism. 
In the midst of its comedic escapades and heartwarming moments, the greatest American hero managed to capture the essence of hope and the boundless possibilities of human potential. It resonated with us on a deeper level, reminding us that we too possess untapped powers and the capacity to rise above our limitations. Now, it's your turn to share your cherished memories and reflections on this timeless gem. What was your favorite episode, character, or life lesson you gleaned from Ralph's misadventures? Did you ever imagine yourself soaring through the skies with that mystical suit? Or perhaps you were inspired by the camaraderie between Ralph, Bill, and Pam. Your stories and thoughts are a testament to the enduring legacy of this show. So, whether you pen a heartfelt ode or simply drop a line about your most treasured moments, your voice adds to the ongoing celebration of the greatest American hero. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are sincerely appreciated. Keep those memories alive, and until we meet again, remember that you, too, are capable of being the greatest hero in your own story. Warm regards, 